Inspector. Uh, Inspector, right. Inspector is a dynamic dialogue. It changes completely depending on what you select. If you select a mesh or a texture object, you see name ID parts, obviously clip masking, opacity, blend mode, and all your stuff. If you click on a um, deformer and it has its own stuff, all right? It can also change the Bezier, the Bezier division number on the fly or the, or the conversion number. So um, the familiar green handles that we have in 2.1, we can now change them on the fly. Now, I don't know if there is going to be a downside to that yet, whether it would um, mess up something, the child objects or something like those. I don't know yet, but um, at least we need more data to figure that out. And there is a Bezier edit type. And it has some keywords that we have not seen and makes no sense. But um, what it does is the same. Well, I think there's a whole new concept that we have to learn is that there is edit level right now up here. All right, one, two, three. Normally, two is default. It gives us a vision that we are familiar with. All right, the red box, the green handle, and what we call the best year division, and then the gray lines right here if you can see I uh, turn off the oh, I cannot turn that off um, you see the gray lines and the red dots yeah these guys are the conversion division and the green dots are the best your division and if you do edit one two three what it does it has three modes editing all right if you press one click it and in a few seconds it should update you no longer see any green handles. So the Bezier are all gone. This is what edit mode level one means. You only work with loco um, red dots or conversions, conversion vertices, vertices. I don't know what they call. Uh, two is the normal thing that we know. We got this and we can also do this. No problem. All right. Three is a over just a corner, just a corner. Uh, oops. Just the corner handlers and these little guys here. I'll talk more about the techniques of using them in the next episode. Here we are just showing um, what do we have. But technically, if you do one, two, three, right? I think all it does is really change the number over here. Except for one. One is two by two, but the thought show it just hides it and two. But I usually go by this. And honestly, when I make this model, 90%, 95% of the time, I'm just using level two. Sometimes they would try to suggest you, hey, you want to try level one, level three, you know, and auto switch you there. And I got to switch it back myself, you know, like, nah, I got to stick with two. And most of the time I'm doing it two. Um, these, I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out later. All right. And uh, that we have, oh, and also I think we can now, I think we can now select multiple dots and move them. Yes, yes. So a lot of people have uh, reflected or sent feedbacks to the official uh, developers that they want to control multiple points at the same time. Now you have that, all right? Can you use soft selector tool on these guys? I don't think so. Oh, you can. All right. So crazy enough is that you can use these two to play with your deformers. I have just used a soft selector tool. Let me use a let me use a bigger area. So I first select the deformer. Yeah. I click on B button and click drag. So it gets widespread. Um, soft brush and as you can see the dots right here are more uh, vibrant purple and these are all faded purple and because these have more strength than the ones down there now I can play around with the deformers 
like that. Can I use the path tool? I don't think so. No, I can't. All right. Yeah, it makes no sense, actually. Why would you use path tool on the form? So at least the soft brush is in. The lasso tool, definitely in. Individual selector, if you want to select them dots by dots, you can shift click, uh, shift and left click to select individual dots. Or you can click drag to select dots from a rectangular area.